Hey friends, welcome to Storytime with Andy. I am so glad you are tuning in today. Um, for those of you who are new, I'm Andy and I love to read to you. I love to read books to kids. Um, I love kids books. They're one of my favorite types of books. Um, and so today we are going to read a book called In My Heart. Look at those hearts. Isn't that neat? All those different colors. Um, so sometimes when we are talking about hearts, we're talking about the shape, right? Sometimes. Um, sometimes when we're talking about hearts, we're talking about what is in your chest, right? That really important piece of your body that um, pumps blood to your arms and your legs and your brain. Sometimes you can hear your heartbeat or you can feel it um, if you've been running really fast or if you're at the doctor and they listen with a stethoscope, sometimes you can hear it. So sometimes we're talking about the shape, sometimes we're talking about the piece of your body, and sometimes when we talk about the heart, what we're actually talking about is what's deep down inside your heart called feelings or emotions. You can use either word. Um, but we use the word feelings or emotions to talk about what's kind of going on inside of our heart. And you know what? Nobody knows what's going on inside your heart but you. Because um, we can't see it, right? We can't see it from the outside. Um, so nobody knows what's going on in there but you. And that is why it's really important to learn how to use your words to say what you're feeling. And that is what today's book is all about. We're going to learn the names of feelings and how to um, identify them, how to know that that's what we're feeling. Um, and you know what, you guys? Being able to say what you're feeling is super important because it helps other people be a good friend to you and helps you be a good friend to them, right? So let's say um, I'm sitting at the playground and I'm crying and I'm crying and I'm crying, but you don't know why I'm crying. So if Lucas were to come over to me and say, why are you crying? Are you sad? Are you scared? Are you angry? Now he's given me a chance to talk about my feelings. And if I say to him, I'm scared, Lucas. Now Lucas knows how to be a good friend to me, right? He can talk to me about why I'm scared. He can maybe put his arm around me, help me feel a little less scared he can help me feel brave again, right? But if I hadn't told him I was scared, he would never know how to be a good friend to me. Or let's say my buddy Wyatt um, is at church and he's over in the corner and he's sitting like this. Well, if I go over to Wyatt and I say, hey Wyatt, what are you feeling right now? Wyatt can tell me that he's mad or that he's frustrated or he's nervous or cranky or tired. Um, and that way I know how to be a good friend to Wyatt, right? So if Wyatt says, I'm angry, then I can say, oh, tell me why you're angry, Wyatt. I can try and be a good friend to him. I can help him not be angry anymore. Or if he is making this face because he is nervous, then I can talk to him about that, help him not feel nervous, that kind of thing. So this is why it's so important to be able to say what's going on inside your heart, right? Because nobody knows what's in there but you. And so if you can work on it and learn how to say what's in there, other people can be really good friends to you and you can be really good friends to them, right? It's all about just learning how to say what's in our heart. And that is what today's book is all about, In My Heart. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? You guys can read along with me. Here we go, in my heart. Look at all those pretty hearts too. See, this is the shape of the heart. Remember, in the beginning of the story, we talked about a shape of a heart, right? In my heart. Ooh, lots of hearts there. My heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast I feel as if I could take off into the sky. 
This is when my heart is happy. See, happy is a feeling. Other times my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it, watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. We've all been mad before, right? But other times, my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days, my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. but my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall, like a plant reaching toward the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Ah, when I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra, I hop around like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. Sometimes I hide my heart away where no one can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me and safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? The end. And you know what? On the back of here is a picture of this little girl, and she's dressed like what? A superhero? And I love that she's dressed like a superhero because learning how to say what all those feelings are inside your heart is a superpower, right? It is something that is so awesome, it's so helpful, and you know what? Even grown-ups aren't good at it sometimes, right? It takes a lot of work to be able to know what's in your heart and say the words out loud. But I know we have lots of superheroes out there watching. I know you guys can get good at this. All you have to do is pay attention to your heart, keep trying, and you will get good at it for sure. And remember, the more you say what's in your heart, the better people can be friends to you, the better your mommy will know how to take care of you, the better your brother or sister will know how to be a good friend, right? And you can teach others how to say what's going on in their heart, which will help you be a good friend to them. So um, feelings are a big deal. Everybody has lots of feelings. Remember this little girl in the book? She had all of those feelings. She was angry and calm and excited and scared. Um, everybody has all of those feelings living in here, right? And sometimes even we feel two feelings at the same time. Um, so think about maybe uh, your first day at school. You could feel really excited, but really nervous too. So sometimes you've even got two feelings all mixed up together in there. And it's really helpful for you to be able to say to your mommy or your teacher, I'm so happy, but I'm a little nervous. And that way they know how to be a good friend to you, right? It's so simple, but it's hard. It's hard work. But I know you guys are up for it. I know you can do it. You guys are great friends out there. I know you can work on this superhero power. And we can all learn how to talk about our feelings and be superheroes together, right? All right, good job. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Pay attention to your heart. Name those feelings. 
And until next time, stay well and keep reading. Bye.